My name is Michael Elliott Ward Swamp, and I'm testifying on the behalf of Jesus Christ. Satan has been oppressing me beyond measure since I got this laptop. When I first got it, God convicted me about two years ago now to get this laptop to just reveal everything that I've gone through with him in the last 10 years to the world. And if it's not a dream, vision, or revelation, that the experience of, experiences I've gone through with him will at least give people faith. Um, so about six months after I started making the videos, Satan impressed me beyond measure for about three months and got off my back. Testified for another eight months, Satan impressed me beyond measure, and three months later, uh, got off my back. And has been up, and then I was anointed for another two months, and then Satan has been on me since, and it's worse than ever. But I've gone through a couple things with God that I didn't testify about yet because I needed an anointing, and I didn't have it. I felt oppressed beyond measure by Satan, and God has granted me an anointing, so I am going to testify about a couple things that I should have been testified about. God anointed my life with dreams, visions, and revelations, and he made me an end-time prophet. I think when he raises up prophets, he's wary about revealing to them truthfully that they are a prophet because he's worried about what happened to Satan when he blessed him the way that he did, and sin creeped into him uh, because of pride, and God, I think, is afraid that if he reveals to us we're a prophet, we're going to start thinking that we're better than other people, that God chose me for this life, and I'm very close with God, and God has named me as holy, you know, so I think he's wary, especially about revealing to the two witnesses who they are, because I don't think God, I think God will do the same thing with the witnesses that he did, does with prophets, but I don't think he'll ever make it clear with what I call a seal from God that they are truly the two witnesses, because they're so important to the, his end plan that he's worried that sin might creep in and doesn't want to take one chance. So if you're a witness, he will grant you conviction that you might be one of the witnesses. Out of 7 billion people on this planet, you might be one of them. He will do this with definitely the two witnesses, maybe others. For a planet, he might choose them as a witness. I saw a video once that this guy said, God was preparing me to be one of the witnesses, and I know it for a fact, but I started sinning, and he took the anointing away and decided to do it with someone else. I don't know if it's true, but it sounds like it makes sense because it does sound like God. So I want to testify about something really simple that I had. Shush, kitties. Um, I had this dream Thursday, April 30th, 2020, uh, and I had it about 5.30 a.m. It's very simple, but it is prophetic, and it means something because God wrote it on my heart and mind, and I didn't write this dream down, which I should have because of Satan's oppression for over a month. Um... After, like, I, I, I had it written on my heart and mind like I asked God to in the name of Jesus for about a month before I wrote it down. But it is a simple dream and it is prophetic. These dreams mean something. He has anointed me and trusted me to convey the dreams more so than to, uh, to receive the revelation in which, of what they mean. But, um, it could be personal because it's about me, but he, I know he gives me prophetic dreams because he's given me personal prophecies and other prophecies that retain to personal experiences and groups of people in my life. But this is the dream. I had a dream, I had a prophetic dream last night that I had been cutting my own hair and I had cut my hair into a rat tail and I cut the rat tail into the exact shape of a snake's tongue. So I just cut, I cut all my hair off and I had a rat tail and the tail was the exact shape of a snake's tongue. You know what a snake's tongue looks like. Abedabo, what's this dream mean? In the name above all names, my love, Jesus Christ. P.S. Stupid demons, lol. Um, but they mean something. I just don't know what they mean. And I am going to start talking about in my next video right away about Lilith, the real demon Lilith. There's myths about her that she was real. She was Adam's first wife. They got in an argument because she wanted to be on top during intercourse and she ran away and started having sex with demons. I don't know. I know for a fact it's real. With God's conviction and seal 100%, Lilith is a real being who was anointed in the past. I don't know the history to it. I've been asking Jesus the past six months about it, but it's real. Um, and she is a real demon who has come to me many times. And the first time I just thought about her for a long period of time, right after I heard that story when I was 22, 23, but I started asking God about six months ago about her. Instantly, he starts sending her directly to me to teach me things about her so I know she's real. Ask God about these things. Ask God 
to reveal to you the truth about the people who come testifying in the name of Jesus, because if we are not, we are false prophets. We are confused. We think we're prophets and we're not. God will reveal it to you in perfect faith in Jesus' name. So be careful for you who you trust. You should, but don't shy away from every single person that says, I come in the name of Jesus Christ and he made me a prophet because there are going to be many false prophets in this time, but not all of them will be. Pray to God for the truth about these things. Repent. It's vital to being a Christian. Everything in the Bible is real. You go, out of way to, you go out of your way to get to know God. God will go out of his way to prove how much he loves you. The devil is real and it is not like you're sleeping when you die. You are here for a reason and valued more than you know. God bless.